Okay guys, this is a precursor to me running this car, waiting on a couple other elements so I can modify, waiting on a starter motor that has that is rebuildable, adding on a couple little tools here so I can make sure I tighten these U-joints up and lock tight them so they don't fall apart. I know what to look for now because I took this car, which this video is about, and I swapped the engine out. Took the Conley engine out, the original, put a, um, I put a Conley clone in here. I took the water pump cover, and the water pump out of the Conley and swapped it over to this one here so I could hook up the alternator to run the radiator fan. And what I did also was the exact same modifications on this engine that I did for the runner. I replaced a cork here for the gaskets and used a metal flange and some copper gasket maker and took the old um, glow plug connectors off and used um, some plug locks so that I wouldn't have, wouldn't have any concerns about grounding out. And so that I did that and then I richened this up. The mixture is really rich, uh, really fattened up. And still with all that, and I mean, I left it fat, this little V8 is wicked. It, it made this thing just, it, it just amazingly whipped it around. And that's a lot to say for a 61 pound car. That's what this car weighs. This car is fully dressed out. A couple options aren't in this car, they're in other cars. The AC is in it, the AC fan. I got that sitting over there, right? Um, you can see it, got the got the pedals in it, got the seat belts. I don't have the updated jams, but and a couple other parts in here, but everything else in, the, in here is pretty much well updated. And again, this V8 fattened up with the mixture, still whipped this car around. I think you're gonna enjoy the video. It broke free a couple times on me, which surprised me. Um, and so I'm looking forward to running that runner since I've lightened it up and really, I'm gonna lean it out a lot to run it and see what it does. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks much. A little fuel in it. Yep, there we go. I know it's full because a little bit dripping out the bottom. That's not the most high tech way of knowing it's full. But it works. upgraded with the newer engine.
I'm running it very, very fat. I mean, rich. 